Welcome to God's presence. Go around, shake somebody's hand tonight and tell them, say, there's a meeting in the air. In a sweet by and by. Tell them, saying, I want to meet you there. Sweet, sweet by and by. Yeah, I'm going to me meet you over there in that home beyond the sky. Oh, son, singing you will hear, never heard by mortal ear. The Lord himself is going to descend from heaven with the shout of the voice of an archangel. With the trump of God and the dead in Christ are going to rise first. Then we that are alive and remain shall be called up to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. First Thessalonians 4, 16 through 18. Oh, behold, every eye shall see him coming in the clouds. Revelation 1, 7. Oh, and God's own Son will be the leading one at that meeting in the air. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, brethren, I beseech you by the coming of the Lord and our gathering unto him. Thessalonians 4 verse 1 Lord we thank you you will come just like you said you would yeah we're gonna leave here yeah we're gonna leave we're gonna fly away Even as he is pure, first John 3, verse 3, even so come Lord Jesus, there's so to be a meeting in the air, in the sweet, sweet by and by, we're going to be, tell somebody, tell them, say I want to meet you in the day. Even as he was taken away from you, he'll be back. Thank you, Lord. God's own son will be the leader. Lord. And the meeting in the air is going to be a meeting in the air in that sweet. So
say it won't be long. Could be tonight. We'll be leaving here. Going up yonder. Hallelujah. Folks, tomorrow in certain parts of this nation are going to be looking for the eclipse of a sun. And there she went. Not even thinking about the glimpse of the sun, S-O-N, Son of God, that's about to come. Oh, hallelujah, glory to God. Somebody shout, we're going to see. You'll be the leading one at that meeting. Revelation 22 and 4 said his name's going to be in her forehead and we're going to see him. Wow. I don't care what you're looking at and seeing. It's hard right now. When you start remembering, you're going to get to see him. Woo! There's a time. There's a blessed time and it's coming soon. Yeah, I could be in the morning, even around about noon. Yeah, there's going to be a wedding and a uniting of the bride with his groom. We're going to see when it comes Yeah, we shall see the king We shall see the king We shall see the king when he comes Yeah, he is coming in power Hell, the blessed hour We shall see the king when he comes are you ready? Should the Savior call today? Would Jesus say, well done, or go away? He's building a home for the pure. The vow can never stay. And we shall see the King when He comes. Oh, are you ready for that call that's soon to come? You see, we're going to crown our Savior, King, and Lord of all. All the kingdoms of this world shall soon before Him fall. Hey, we shall see the King when He comes. Oh, we shall see the King. We're going to see Him. We shall see the King. Hey, we shall see the King when He comes. He is coming in power Hell the blessed hour We shall see the King when He comes Oh, we shall see the King We're gonna see Him We're gonna see Him as He is We shall see the King Yeah, when He comes He's coming in power Hell the blessed hour we shall see the King when He comes. He is coming in power. Hell, the blessed hour. We shall see the King when He comes. Yeah, Jesus is coming in Holy Ghost power. Hell, the blessed hour. We shall see the King. Yeah, we're going to see Him. Yeah, we're gonna see him. Woo! Yeah, when he comes. Somebody shout, we're gonna see. Hey! He's gonna wipe all tears from our eyes. Revelation 5 14. We shall see him. Come on, shout if you believe you're gonna get to see him. Give him glory tonight. Worthy are you, God. We magnify your holy name. Thank you for that hope. We're going to get to see you just as you are. We're going to be like you when we see you. Oh, hallelujah, because you are the first fruits of them that was risen from the dead. 1 Corinthians 15 and 20. Just like you were raised, God, we will be raised. Yes, we will. Hallelujah. And we'll be caught up in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. 1 Corinthians 15 and verses 30. We give you praise. Verse 32 of 1 Corinthians 15 says we are his at his coming. 
Christ who is our life when he appears. Oh, we'll see him as he is and we'll be like him. Oh, glory to God. Yes, we will, Colossians 3, 4. Christ who is our life when he appears. We'll appear also with him in glory. Somebody say he's coming back for a bride, not a dating girlfriend. Jesus ain't returning to catch up a girlfriend, a Sunday morning only girlfriend, and every now and then girlfriend date her. He's coming back for somebody who's walked the aisle of their life. They've said for better or worse sickness and health till death or till the catching up the rapture brings me face to face. Oh friend, that's our hope tonight. We're going to see him. I said we're going to see him. We're going to see him the way John saw him. Fire in his eyes. Oh, glory to God. Going to see him in his glory. See him exalted. See him just like the disciples did in Luke 9 at the Mount of Transfiguration when they looked upon that mountain and they saw a deceased Moses and also a prophet named Elijah that was caught up by a fiery chariot in 1 Kings 2 verses 9 and 10. Those two saints represent the dead in Christ in Moses and us that are alive and remain in Elijah oh, standing in his glory. That's a portrait of him coming. Oh, and there's a resurrection and a rapture going to happen. Somebody say, thank God. Thank God this world like it is is not our home. Whoa. Hallelujah. Praise God. That gets me excited. Hallelujah. We will ride. Mm, this is Revelation 19. He has fire in his eyes and a sword in his hand. He's riding a white horse. All of He's got fire in his eyes and a sword in his hand. He's riding a white horse all across this land. And it's calling out to you and me. We ride me. Enoch, the seventh from Adam prophesied said he saw tens of thousands of his saints coming with him Jude verse 14 Revelation 19 and 9 the saints were clothed in white linen and by verse 14 they're leaving heaven riding white horses following his lead white horse he came to Jerusalem before he went to the cross and was betrayed and crucified riding a mule but when he comes back to judge and make war, Revelation 19, 11. He's going to be on a white horse. And he's asking who's going to ride. Yeah. Oh, we say yes, Lord. Yeah, we will stand up and fight. We will ride with the armies of heaven. We'll be dressed in white. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, we will ride. Yeah, we're going to ride. I want to be on that side of the ride. Yeah. He has a crown on his head. Scared a scepter in his hand. And it's leading the armies all across this land. He's calling out to you and me. Will you ride with me? Will you ride with me? And we say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, we will ride. Oh, come on and shout it out tonight. And we say yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We will stand up and fight. We will ride with the armies of heaven. We'll be dressed in white. We'll be dressed in white. Yeah, we say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, we will ride. Yeah, hallelujah. We say yes, Lord. We'll 
be trusted why hey. hallelujah thank you lord yeah we say yes lord See that fire in his eyes Here's his love for his bride And it's longing that she be with him Right by his side See that fire in his eyes Here's his burning desire That his bride be with him Right by his side Yeah, and he's calling out to us right now When you right yeah, will you ride me? Ooh. Church, don't you hear him calling out? Right before he calls us up, will you ride me? Oh, don't you hear the voice of the Son of God saying, come up here? Don't you want to ride me? Jesus is going to defeat all the armies of the Antichrist. He ain't going to be flying in some modern jet, shooting off big missiles militarily. He's just going to be riding a white horse. His name's faithful and true, and in righteousness, he's going to judge and make war. Revelation 19 11. And with the word of his mouth, he's going to defeat them all. Don't you want to be on that side of the ride? Tell him, yes, Lord. Oh, we say yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We say yes, Lord. judgment sound one trumpet's gonna sound the rapture soon the dead in Christ will rise and join him in the 
sky Even unbelievers will see God has answered Jerusalem's cry God has answered Jerusalem Running. He's coming, he's coming, and it won't be long. He's going to catch his church up, he's going to call us all. Yeah, he's coming. Yeah, the Lord himself's going to send from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel. He's going to catch us up to meet him in the air. We're going to be with him in the air. We're going to meet him in the air. going to be with the Lord forever. He's coming, he's coming, hey, holy, holy, even so come, even so come, Jesus come, he's coming again, oh, give him a shout of praise, yes, hallelujah, thank you, Holy Ghost, thank you, Holy Ghost. To God, you be the glory. We thank you, God, you will come back. It will be a living reality. And Lord, we ain't afraid to say come tonight if you want to. Hallelujah. Because God, you said in Revelation 19 and 7, oh, yes, Lord, his bride has made herself ready. Lord, I pray somebody tonight get ready if they ain't ready. I pray, God, those that are ready, stay ready and be ready in the name of Jesus Christ because you coming as a thief in the night. Oh, yes, you are in an hour. We think not. The Son of Man is coming, Matthew 24 in verses 40. Lord, and we're living in that hour and that day where men, many men, many women, Many in this world are not thinking about your soon imminent return. I know they're not by the way they're living. By the way they excuse themselves and opt out from the things that concern the kingdom of God. And Lord, if we're risen with you, you said for us to seek those things which are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father. Set our affections on things above, not on things of this earth. Colossians 3, verse 1 and 2. And then by verses 4, Christ, who is our life, when he appears, will appear also with him in glory. Lord, you're coming back. Christ, you're coming back for those who have made you their life. Yes, Lord, those that are living for you, those are the ones that are going to be rapture ready, the ones that will be caught up, not the ones that's caught up in this world, but that are caught up in your coming. Lord, help us get our head in the cloud of your coming. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, be ye lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Psalms 27 or 24 verse 7. Lord, I thank you, you will come in, you will come again. Oh, yes, hallelujah. And Lord, to those that are looking for you, looking for him, shall he appear again a second time. Oh, without sin unto salvation. Hebrews 9, 28. Lord, help us be looking for you. Henceforth, there's laid up a crown of righteousness for all those, Lord Jesus, that love you. Praise God, that love your appearing. Oh, yes, 2 Timothy 4, verses 8. Lord, help us to be looking for it, that second appearing. Help us, Lord Jesus, to be living like it. And Lord, looking up, loving your appearing, because you you will come, you will come, and every man that hath this hope, the hope of your return, hath this living hope in him, will purify himself, even as you are pure, 1 John 3, verses 3. Those that really live like you're coming, God, they'll not make excuses about the sin, the iniquity, and the idolatry. They'll repent of it, and they'll walk away from it, because they'll live like you're about to come at any moment, Lord. It changes the way we live when we believe you could come, when your coming's at hand, for it is high time to wake out of sleep. Our salvation is nearer than when we believed Romans 13 verses 11 and the church said amen praise God praise God hallelujah